Local control by local elected officials. Is it really garbage, as Representative Dewar recently said in Portland? Well, maybe she dropped a truth bomb. Let's see. Thank you for watching. My name is Glenn Morgan, and this is We the Governed. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, Washington State Representative Dewar was recently down at a forum in Portland, and uh, that forum was held by a group called Yimby. It was uh, actually Yimby Town 2022. This was really a forum that they were originally planning to have in 2020, but with COVID kicking in, it how got kicked down the road a couple of years. And so she was on a panel there. Now, if you go and you look at the website, which I've linked down below, you can see she's not listed as one of the speakers there, but she was a speaker on this panel along with Representative Fitzgibbons and some other people. And uh, there was a clip that uh, went public very briefly. And then, of course, they shut down the YouTube clip. And I think that it's worth looking at this clip because and listening to what she had to say, because I think just an, as an accident, I think that this representative, Representative Dewar, actually dropped a truth bomb right in the middle of this forum, right in the middle of these lefties talking about central control and central planning. I think she dropped a truth bomb that uh, many people should should listen to. Davina, hey, anything to add? Oh, I have so much to add. <laughs> <laughs> um, the local control, it's, a, it's garbage. It's just complete garbage. Because I'll tell you, local, local, local electeds don't know anything. They literally don't know anything. They go in, <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. You get elected and you're just so excited to be there. And the easiest thing in the world to do is what staff recommends because they don't know anything. They don't research. They haven't done their homework. They know nothing about policy. And, and, but they like the title. Most of them just like the title and it's super easy to show up and do what staff recommends. And I'll tell you, I, I know many local electeds who would love for the state to step in because we are the ones that get accosted in the grocery store by our neighbors who say, how dare you consider upzoning? So this is a pretty interesting uh, uh, issue and I'm gonna explain to you why I think this matters. Uh, when she's talking about local control, she's really just referring to local elected officials. And uh, why does that matter? Well, it matters because generally when we're talking about local government and uh, there are thousands of local elected officials all around Washington state who are running for office for their city council, for their county commission, county council, school board, all these other places, and oftentimes with this idea that local control matters, right? That's why we elect these local officials. And it's very rare that you have somebody with the background that Representative Dewar has uh, to basically say that, hey, this local control, it's all garbage. All the people in local office, they, they don't know anything, they're ignorant, and staff runs the show. Now, this is why I'm going to get into this and explain why I think this is kind of a truth bomb. But first, let's talk about who Representative Dewar actually is. Uh, Representative Dewar is actually a legislator from the first legislative district, and specifically, um, that's an area that includes part of Kirkland and uh, Bothell and part of Montlake Terrace and some other areas, just north of Seattle, kind of north and east of Seattle. This has changed a little bit with redistricting, but this is a very wealthy part of the state, uh, and uh, generally, this is where she's from, and it's kind of an interesting area, and it's been held by Democrats for a long, long time. And just to point out, she was originally appointed by Governor Inslee to replace Senator Sanford in 2019. Now, he was the former legislator in that position who moved up to the state Senate, where he was appointed by Inslee to replace another Democrat who had been the state senator there and who left to become a lobbyist for Amazon. So this is just kind of a story of political musical chairs, and Representative Dewar uh, was one of the people who got moved into the seat. Now, she was also then re-elected pretty handily to that seat in 2020. So uh, she was appointed originally, was able to be an incumbent, and run, ran for that seat in 2020. What's interesting, as it relates to what she recently said at this forum down in Portland, was that she was also the former Bothell City Council member and a deputy mayor. And in fact, I have the video here of her being sworn in 
just a couple years ago. And uh, so when she's talking about local elected officials and the ones she knows well, what she's really talking about is a lot of her fellow city council members, and presumably including herself, and other Democrats who uh, make up the majority of these local elected officials, especially in the greater Puget Sound area. And she's basically saying that they're garbage and that they're controlled by staff and that they don't know anything and they're there for the title. And the easiest thing to do is just whatever staff tells you. Now, why does this matter? And I'm going to tell you, I think it matters because I have talked about in other videos in the past about the government staff infection. And oftentimes when people are talking about big government, they're talking about the deep state, right? That's, you've heard it many times before. At a local level, it's the manifests itself in the staff control of local elected officials, basically controlling and directing the agenda and everything on the agenda and everything that they vote and then directing elected officials to do what staff wants them to do. And presumably whatever the special interests who are controlling staff want them to do. That's why this is kind of a big deal. And it's unusual that an elected official is willing to drop a truth bomb like that. Now, when I've looked at Representative Doerr and talked to other people and kind of observed her over the last couple of years that she's been in Olympia in the state legislature, one of the things that she's been frequently criticized for She's oftentimes reading these floor speeches. And to be fair, I mean, since she's been in there, COVID has been all the rage. They've had these Zoom sessions. So these legislators are oftentimes on Zoom. And you're really, when you're giving a floor speech as a legislator, you're not supposed to have something written out that you're reading from as a prepared speech. Um, that's really not the decorum for that time. Nobody really wants to see your specific handwritten notes, you know, something that you've been prepared, especially because special interest and lobby groups oftentimes can give you those talking points and give you a written speech ahead of time, which is what she appears to do all the time. She's doing it in a Zoom session, so she appears to be reading what somebody else has prepared for, and she's not thinking for herself, which, so to come to think of it, is kind of what she's saying is a problem with local elected officials. You're just doing what staff tells you to do. Or in Olympia, perhaps you're just doing what the lobbyists tell you to do. It's a concern. Now, she also kind of got a lot of attention in the recent legislative session in 2022, where she stormed out of the session at the very end of it when her kind of pet-sponsored bill, House Bill 1099, failed before the cutoff. And if you'd watched some of my previous videos, I mentioned this one because this was basically taking the Growth Management Act, which was a, the central planning scheme that has been very harmful to property rights and pretty much anything else that is touched in the, especially in the greater Puget Sound area, but for the whole state of Washington, she was attempting to make it even worse by injecting a real special interests focused effort to use climate change in every decision making process along the way, which would just simply uh, when it comes to land development, whether you can build a porch in the back of your house, whether your farm can still exist, et cetera, et cetera. And she was trying to inject this whole special interest policy that FutureWise and other uh, special interest groups were trying to push. So she drafted this bill and was all excited and ended up dying at the very end due to uh, actually a pretty good procedural move by the Republicans, who oftentimes don't do this very well, but in this case, ran out the clock, mainly because the Democrats screwed up and how they were approaching their budget. And uh, this bill just got lost. And so she was very upset, ran, stormed out of the Zoom session, and uh, was definitely noticed by other elected officials and anybody in the public who actually bothered to pay attention. So, uh, and, you know, I don't mean to be super critical of Doer because at the same time, it was interesting listening to what she had to say, again, just a short time after session ended down in Portland. And I think that she's right. I think her fellow Democrat local elected officials usually do the easy thing, whatever staff tells them to do. I think that is a truth bomb that she dropped without really understanding the significance of the ramifications of what she was just saying. Because when she's talking about these people, she's talking about her fellow city council members in Bothell or in Muckleteo or in Shoreline or in Edmonds or in Burien or Seattle or Tukwila or Federal Way or any of these other places where, for the most part, historically have been Democrat local elected officials. I know some of these city councils, especially in Federal Way, have changed recently with the recent elections. But from Representative Dewar's experience, she's mostly been working with Democrats at a local level for a long time. And I think she's right. I think they do tend to do what staff tells them to do. And her former local elected colleagues, she's basically saying that they don't know anything and they just want the title and that they hope the state state tells them what to do so that they don't have to make the hard decisions once they're in, in office themselves. And this is true. I have actually heard this happen many times. There's nothing that a local elected official prefers more when being pressed by the local public and saying, oh, I'm sorry, I can't do anything about this. The state tells us what to do. We have no choice. The Department of Ecology tells us what to do. We have no choice. And they like that because they can shift the blame to somebody else, and they don't have to make their own hard decisions about whether they're going to stick that Sound Transit metro rail right in your
your backyard or whether they're going to stick a homeless camp right in your backyard or whatever other genius moves that local government frequently does all around Washington state. You don't have to go very far. Just look at the city of Olympia for real clownish local decisions that are made on a regular basis. And clearly this attempt to shift the blame to somebody else and not on the local elected officials is what every local official wants to do. And so I think that Representative Dewar dropped some truth bombs and I tend to agree with her assessment. Now, I don't think local control is garbage, but I do believe that many of her elected officials do act this way and that's exactly how they operate once they get into local government. And that's a challenge. So from that standpoint, even though you would never find anybody who believes in freedom, property rights, or individual liberty going to a conference like this one that they just had down in Portland, all you have to do is look at the speaker list, and this is the central planner's dream, and all the special interests that are involved into this central planning and all of the disastrous consequences from many of their actions and decisions over the last few decades, they're all here trying to figure out how they can control your life more because they definitely know how to live your life better than you do. Nevertheless, Despite being in that kind of environment, sometimes people accidentally do tell the truth. And uh, sure, it doesn't reflect well on the local elected officials. I don't disagree with that. But then again, if you've had as much interaction as I have with many of these local elected officials, especially in these urban deep blue areas, you'll understand that Representative Dewar probably did us a tremendous favor exposing the truth about what actually goes on behind the scenes. Now, anybody that has paid attention to some of the stuff I've talked about in the past knows that I have a lot of concern about this idea that staff basically controls the show. The, I've called it the government staff infection. And, uh, and I think it's a, a significant problem that we have in local government where they do try to control and manipulate local elected officials to do what they want and presumably what the special interests that push and support staff want them to do. And so uh, we really, I feel like I owe uh, a debt of gratitude to Representative Doerr for dropping her truth bombs down there in Portland. And uh, the next video I'm going to talk about and go into this a little bit more detail on why I think it matters and how significant this really is for those of us who are trying to restore a level of freedom and local control in our local communities, how we have this obstacle of this government staff infection, our equivalent to the deep state at local government level that we're going to have to deal with uh, over the next few years. So if you want to learn more, please go to wethegovern.com. You can link in some of the relevant videos uh, or v both videos and actually articles that I have linked down below. You might find some of these, uh, this information interesting. Don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter if you haven't already. Uh, feel free to support us. And uh, I encourage you to share this video with others. Uh, I guarantee you some of these videos are getting shadow banned and this one's probably no exception. So please feel free to pass it on. And also remember, if you want to make a difference, I believe that local government and local control matters a lot. I don't think it's garbage the way that Representative Dewar said. And in fact, I think that if you want to make a difference, you're going to have to show up because the future belongs to those who show up.